Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular with Bootstrap uh, tutorial series, where we are building a real-time application called Arc Reminders. We have built so far. Uh, we have used so many components, including navbar, card, and then we have used jumbotron. We have learned to use all the different components of Bootstrap, and in Today's uh, episode, we will learn how to use bootstrap tables. It's one of the most essential components that you will use in almost all applications. These are tutorials with full real-time project and uh, we are building a real-time application. So if you have not checked out the previous episodes, please do so to follow the entire series. If you want to get any free uh, technical help or have any queries or doubts, just drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing you these tutorials. I hope you appreciate it by liking my videos and also by subscribing to my channel. These are tutorials are good for both beginners as well as for experienced professionals. Let's get started with implementing bootstrap table in our Angular application. All right. So Bootstrap provides a lot of uh, utility classes for tables like table, table border, table responsive, table dark, table stripe, table hovered. We can use all of that in our Angular application. In the first part, I'm going to show you how to put a table in Angular application. In the next part, I'm going to show you how to connect it dynamically into the component Angular data. So let's get started with the practical which is Angular tables demo with real-time project. Let's get started with coding. So to show you the story so far, I am going to show you what the application is so far. So we built a reminder tab, navbar, routing. We included a tab called contacts. This is where we are going to add a, a table. And we added a route called about where we have a simple jumbotron that we are using. Now. In this tutorial, like I said, we are going to implement bootstrap tables. So let's go ahead and get that detail. So for that, I'm going to jump right into the bootstrap documentation, pick up the table, table right here. And under content, we have tables. So I'm going to just take up any random table for now to get things started, but we will keep building on it with dynamic data. So let's pick up this table. We can just copy it here and then come to our application. Let's go to code and inside. All right, so inside the contacts, I'm going to go to the HTML, copy that table, paste it here. So right now we should see the table in our application. So in the template, in the components template, I have copy pasted the, copy -pasted the table, which is by default that comes but we are going to modify and work it now. So let's go ahead and change some functionality here. So first you see this is called table dark. I'm going to make it table light. So it has now light color background. And then we want to make sure that this table is striped. So you will see alternate colors now. And we are also going to say that this table should have hover images hover effect so on mouse over now you see these are on mouse over the hover effect right so let's go ahead and change it here again this is another table we don't need that we are working currently with one table so we have one table which has hover so i'm going to copy few rows to show you that it really works so so we have this now uh, table, which is on hover. We have it now. If you want us to add border, we'll say table border. OK, so for table border, border table, we'll go here and say table bordered. That's the keyword. So now again, back to our application. Now we see that it's it has the borders that we want. Uh, so far it looks good so far it does what we want but we are going to add some more details um, to it and then we will build on it so let's 
So this is how we can incorporate any bootstrap table uh, right into uh, Angular application. So let's jazzify it a little bit by adding some details like heading, etc., which are utility classes. So let's add. So I'm going to just for easy purpose, I'm going to copy it from the reminders for now. But you, you get an idea that how to add that. So that's important. Uh, just copy pasting the header and the new button. So now you should see that we got my contacts and then we got add new button also. So similarly for reminders, we have add new reminder. For contacts, we have add new. So this way we are making the page look pretty much similar. So usually um, we'll have a first name, last name. Then I'm going to say birthday, anniversary, contact phone number, etc. So we can add multiple columns to this. Uh, I'm going to convert this into a dynamic table in next episode. For now, you should get an idea of how it would be. So let's do one last thing. Now, if you open and if you minimize this, you would see that this fits in a responsive, right? So I'm going to make it table responsive and the div. So we can make it table responsive. All right, responsive. So yeah, so this table is now responsive table. It will adjust it accordingly. We have our menu, we have our add new. So in the next episode, I'm going to make it a dynamic um, uh, data. Right now it is static data, but this was the first introduction at using the table in our application. Now that we know it, I'm going to make it a dynamic table in our next tutorial. Stay tuned for that. Again, if you have any doubts, any queries, please drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. Also, we are going to cover model windows where we will use add new functionality and that is where we'll use model window. Upcome next up is connecting dynamic data into the table. So stay tuned for that.